Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody doing out there today? Hope you're having an awesome time. So, the new Pioneer Challenger decks are out. These things are pretty awesome. I was kind of shocked at all the cards they put in these. So, we're going to open them up. I finally got them in. We're going to open them up, see what's in here. And, uh, yeah, I, I think these are a complete home run. But, let me know what you guys think after we open them. I wanted to check and see because they look like they're sealed the same way as the last uh, Challenger decks, the regular standard ones that came out earlier this year. And those you could actually open without damaging the seal and then reseal them. So let's see if we can do that on these. Open them real slow. Looks like they might have sealed them a little bit better this time around. Uh, but it looks like you can still do it. So because of this... See here. Yep. All right. And we can reseal it. Okay. Because of this, everybody be very careful buying these from the retail outlets because if they accept returns on these, then that means somebody could take them, take out the good cards, and return them to the store. And they're just going to put them back on the shelf. We're going to open the mono red burn first here. This is basically red deck wins. Um, let's see what we get in here. All right. So we got box and our spacer and our divider which actually got a kind of cool artwork on it same artwork that's on the box there yeah here's our main deck and our sideboard and here's a little blurb should be about running the deck oh, it's got a, is that stone call serpent it's a stone call and on the back oh it's just got a little blurb about all four decks okay I was kind of hoping they would put the deck list in here, but it looks like once again they failed to do that. The deck list isn't on the box, and it's not in the in the uh, little paper there. So that's kind of kind of lame. I wish they'd have put the uh, the deck list in these because you know if you decide to upgrade them and take them apart and then want to put it back together, you don't know what cards were in it. So, I mean, there's ways you can. Obviously, get on Google and, and look at Goldfish. Always does the uh, the full deck lists and everything of every deck. So, you can still find it. But, man, just be... I think it'd make more sense if they put it on the sheet that's in there. All right. So, let's get into this. So, first up, we got the Bomac Couriers, which are uh, rares. One, two, three, four of those from Kaladesh. And then we got the Soul Scar Mage, a rare from Amonkhet. We got four of those. I think it's awesome that they put play sets of the actual, like, valuable, usable cards that are in these decks. Then we got Bone Crusher Giant. Four of those from Throne of Beldrain. Great card. Um, get to Lava Runner from Dominaria. Four of those. And then Monastery Swift Spear from Khans of Tarkir. Great, great card. And it's this, this is... One of the most important cards in the red deck wins because the prow is haste one two for a one drop just incredible card and they put a full play set these were valuable cards until this printing we'll see if this knocks them down a little bit um they were pretty pretty up there like five six bucks a piece i think at least uh we got the vsino pyromancers from m19 four of those we got the Lands of Ramming Up Ruins from Our Devastation, which just got reprinted in Modern Horizons, I think. Modern Horizons 2. Four of those. Then we got our Mountains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 Mountains. And then we got Wild Slash. Uh, four of those. Uh, I'm not sure what... This says they're promo cards, so I'm not sure what set those came from originally. Uh, Lightning Strike, four of those. Light up the stage, one of the greatest cards for this mono red format. Um, just, you know, card draw is huge. So four light up the stages. And then most of the creatures, well, not most of them, but a good amount of the creatures are wizards. So they put the wizard's lightning in here. Uh, so you get four of those. So... If you got a wizard in play, it's basically a lightning bolt uh, because it costs two less. But if you don't have a wizard in play, it's three mana for three damage to any target. But still, just just really good card selection on these. Let's break into the sideboard here. Our sideboard, we got Chandra Torch of Defiance. Only one of those. Um, Rolling Vortex. Looks 
Looks like four of those. Got Goblin Chain Brawler. Three of those. Searing Blood. Uh, one, two, three, four of those. And then Magma Spray. Three of those. Um, the sideboard is probably the weakest part of this whole thing. I think, uh, you know, some... Something that, uh, I don't know, I'm not too familiar with Pioneer, so I'm not sure if Magus of the Moon is legal in Pioneer, uh, but something like that, or, uh, you know, some, some artifact hate would be nice, or some color hate would be nice in here, and, uh, definitely the, oh, who is the, uh, Tabalt, Tabalt should be in here, the one that, uh, stops your opponents from gaining life, he definitely should have been in this, uh, I believe he was from War of the Spark, so, uh, it would be a legal legal set for this format, so I'm really disappointed that in the sideboard. The sideboard is really, I think, the weakest part of the deck, because uh, the main deck's actually pretty good. Um, obviously, it could use some upgrades, but um, there's the staples are here. The light up the stage, the monastery swift spears, and the soul scar mages, they're all here. So, lava runners, bone crushers, and full play sets. So. I think they did a really good job on them. Let me know what you think in the comments below and what you would do to upgrade this deck. But uh, overall, I think they did just an awesome job on it. Um, really looking forward to trying it out. So, going to probably uh, uh, test these decks against each other with my girlfriend a little bit and see how they work. And then maybe even uh, maybe even try them against some, uh, some decks at uh, my LGS against some other people's constructed decks and see how they see how they function. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Check out the description below. There's a lot of good links that are going to save you money on all your purchases, get your cash back on all your purchases. It's all legit. It all works. It's all free money down there. So check out those links below. The Rakuten app is free money. The credit card that I use is 1.5% cash back on all my magic purchases. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's all free money down there. My email address is down there. If you want to talk to me about, uh, sponsoring a video or buying singles off me and my actual address is down there. If you want to send me something to open on camera, I would love to get a little bit of stuff from viewers, you know, send me something fun to open on, on the camera here. Uh, and you know, obviously we'll send it back to you and everything, but, uh, yeah. So check out the description below. Let me know what you guys think about this deck. What would you do to upgrade it? And... Hopefully we'll see you in the next one. I'm going to open the other three too. So check those out as well. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for your time and have a great day.